How to get the principal root of a number? Find out in this video. Good day learners! Today we're going to discuss principal roots. So the principal nth root of a positive number is the positive nth root. The principal nth root of a negative number is the negative nth root given that n is odd. If n is even and the radicand is negative, the principal nth root is not defined. So we have here the nth root of a number. Ito yung symbol natin sa nth root of a number. So yung sign natin, this is the radical sign. Yung a naman or yung number na nasa loob or yung term na nasa loob ng radical sign, we call that one as radicand. At yung nth root naman, we call that one as our index. So, paano nga ba determine yung principal root ng isang given? So, we have here examples. So, we're going to determine the principal roots of the following. So, yung ibibigay ko muna is yung positive. Okay? Yung positive yung radical. Again, yung number na nasa loob, yung term na nasa loob ng radical sign natin, we call that one as radical. Okay, so what is the principal root of the square root of 36? So, para malaman natin kung ano yung square root ng 36, we're going to think of one number in which, pag imumultiply natin sa kanyang sarili, the answer becomes 36. So, yung number na yun would be 6 or negative 6. Bakit? Because if we have 6 times 6, that is equal to 36. And we can also consider negative 6 times negative 6, which is also positive 36. Pero, since we're looking for the principal root, yung tatandaan natin, pag yung given natin ay positive na radical, yung kukunin lang natin na root niya would be the positive 1. Okay. So, the answer for number 1 would be 6 or positive 6. Okay. So, again, yung roots ng square root of 36, we have positive 6 and negative 6. But since we are talking about principal root, yung positive na number lang yung i-consider natin. So, the final answer here would be positive 6. Okay, how about the cube root of 27? When we say cube root, we're going to think of one number na pag i-multiply natin sa kanyang sarili 3 times, the answer would be equal to 27. So, ano, ano kaya yung number na yun? We have number or 3. So, 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. Or, we can also express this one as 3 cubed. Tama? Okay. This is also equal to 27. Okay. Wala siyang negative na root. Okay? Bakit wala siyang negative na root? Kasi, if we're going to replace this one na negative, negative 3 times negative 3 becomes positive 9. Positive 9 times negative 3 becomes negative 27. And that is not equal sa binigay na radikan sa atin, which is positive 27. So, automatic, yung principal root natin for number 2 would be equal to positive 3. Okay, how about number 3? We have the cube root of 64. So, the cube root of 64, again, we're going to think of one number na pag multiply natin sa kanyang sa kanyang sarili 3 times, the answer becomes 64. So, we will have 4 times 4 times 4. That is equal to 64. So, yung principal root natin would be positive 4. Now, how about the fourth root of 81? So, isang number na pag multiply sa kanyang sarili 4 times, the answer will be 81. Okay, so that is 3. Kasi 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to positive 81. But then again, we can also consider negative. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Parehas din na 81 yung product. 
Okay. So, yung roots ng fourth root of 81 is positive 3 and negative 3. Pero, since ang hinahanap lang natin ay principal root, therefore, yung i-consider lang natin is yung positive. So, the answer here is 3. So, kung mapapansin natin, pag ang index natin are even, yung index dito is 2. Okay? Pag 2 yung index, hindi na natin siya sinusulat. So, pag ang index natin ay 2 or even, we have 2 and 4. We are expecting that we have 2 roots, isang positive at isang negative. Pero, pag ang index naman natin ay odd or odd number, we are expecting na isa lang yung root na makukuha natin. Now, what if yung radical natin is negative? Okay, so, we have example number 1, cube root of negative 8. So, yung kanina, madali lang kasi positive lahat sila ng radikan. So, yung tatanda natin kanina, positive lang na roots yung magiging principal root natin. Pero, pag negative yung radikan natin, according sa rule, yung principal root natin is yung negative root ka rin mismo. Okay. So, ano yung cube root ni negative 8? So, so, we're going to think of one number again that we're going to multiply to itself. 3 times, the answer is negative 8. So, that would be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. We have negative 8. Therefore, yung principal root ng number 1 natin is negative 2. Okay. How about number 2? So, again, negative yung radican. So, we're going to get the fifth root of negative 240. So, ano kaya yun? We have negative 3. So, negative 3 times negative times negative 3 times negative 3. So, that is equal to negative 243. Therefore, yung principal root natin would be negative 3. Now, kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong principal root pag negative yung radicand given na yung index natin ay odd number. So, yung index ng number 1 is 3. Yung index naman ng number 2 is 5. So, they are both odd numbers. Kaya, meron tayong principal roots na negative. Pero, pag negative ang radicand, at the same time, even yung index natin, our principal root would be not defined. Okay? So, not defined yung ilalagay natin dito. Bakit not defined? Kasi if you're going to think of one number that we're going to multiply to itself four times, hindi natin makakuha yung negative 256 na radikan. Okay? So, if you have 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, that is equal to positive 256. At pag yung negative naman yung consider natin, The answer is still 256 or positive 256. So, walang negative 256 na makukuha. So, yung principal root ng negative radican na kung saan yung index niya ay even would be not defined. Now, it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.